What is going on, everybody? TC here with Smoky Mountain Knife Works. Welcome to Blade Show Texas 2023. Here comes all your coverage right now. So, folks, a couple of the big releases that we're having here at Blade Show Texas 2023 is from Miss Kayla Cummings right here from Naked and Afraid. Now, um, these are knives that you design, and you've got your own custom versions of these. I do. But now we've got a production version that everybody can get their hands on. Yes. Um, now, these were made by Tops for CRKT, so yep. they're American-made CRKT. And there's a couple of different versions here. Let's talk about these yes. and, uh, and your design here. Absolutely. Yeah, so we have two different versions. This is the Micarta Handles uh, stonewash finish. This is 1095 high carbon steel, black stainless steel uh, hardware. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, super comfortable grip. Um, just a, a great overall knife. And then we've got the blacked out version here, which is yeah. really cool, especially yeah, with the VEF serrations there. Kind of like the tactical style version. So yeah. same thing, yeah. Powder coat finish, VEF serrations, jimping, black G10 handles. Yeah. This is absolutely gorgeous. And I know people are going to love the different options with the Kydex and the leather. Now, I've got to ask, first off, as a knife designer, and you forge your own knives too, which is really cool. And I'm going to go ahead and urge you, if you don't follow Kayla already, you need to follow her channel across all social media, on Facebook, on Instagram, because the content she puts out is really freaking cool. So I, I want to ask first... Where do you get your inspiration? Like, where, how did you get started doing this? I actually started out doing uh, YouTubes. Yeah, <laughs> YouTube videos, reviews. That is yeah. awesome. Yeah, and I was like, you know, if I'm going to be critiquing other people's work, I should probably know how to do it myself. <laughs> so I sold my gun and my knife collection, and I just taught myself how to do it. That is so freaking cool. Now, how did you actually get into doing the Naked and Afraid show? They contacted me back in like 2014. I thought it was a joke. And I was like, yeah, right. <laughs> and then uh, next thing I knew, I was on a plane flying to Columbia and getting naked, so. <laughs> that is wild. Yeah. So, and now I've got to say, so this is your second time on the show now. My fourth. Fourth time, yeah, okay. Yeah, like four times. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> I've got to ask. So we were watching um, Solo last night because it just premiered just a couple of days ago. Yep. And what is the dynamic what's what makes it so different this time around being by yourself Ooh, well i'm a big overthinker so i was a little worried to be by myself and it's it's like double the work you know you don't right. have somebody out there with you so yeah it's a lot of work but i actually liked it a lot better being by myself and it's always a different environment too it's it, it is it's never the same like yeah. when you go back and do it again yep. so i did 21 days in colombia 40 days in south africa i was supposed to do 60 days in peru but that was it was insane. Yeah. yeah. Did you ever see my bug bites? I did. Yeah, I that did. Was that was intense. Yeah. And then you guys will see if I made it the full time or not on this one. I'm super excited. <laughs> I, like I said, we watched the first episode last night and I was like, man, this is so cool. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that is awesome. Yeah, that you is should awesome. try out. And, you know, I've, I've considered <laughs> I've considered alone and I naked and afraid just seems like a whole nother level for me. And I don't you know, so that's how I maybe. feel about alone. I'm like, I don't know if I could do that many days by myself. Right. Yeah, 21 days, I'm like, I think I can do that. But right. yeah, it's a whole different ball game. Well, folks, this is awesome. We are super excited to have this Bugsy for right now, pretty much exclusively through Smokey right now at our booth yes. here at Blade Show, Texas. Now, these are, gonna, these are released today. Now, they're going to be available at all retailers, but you can find them online at SmokyMountainKnifeWorks.com or smkw.com very soon. Kayla, thank you so much. Thank you. And uh, thank have you. a fun Blade show. Yeah, we're super this is my excited. first time here, so. Heck yeah, yeah. same for it. us, so we're super excited. Awesome, Absolutely. you guys have a good show too. This is great. Folks, we'll see you for more. <laughs> I'm here with Diane from uh, Fox and Bright Blade Style. Thank Hi. you so much. Hi. Now, thank you are kind of the brainchild behind all of this, right? So this is, this is all your creation here. Well, no, to a certain extent, the Brightons, 100%, are a great child. And then I work really close with Locks in Italy, and we come up with a lot of ideas and everything also. So. That is awesome. Now, first off, with Fox, let's talk about what you guys have got new. You guys have got some really cool new stuff coming out that we're really we excited to see. We do. I would say two of the things that people have been really excited about and waiting on is chilling and knobs. 
We have these to show, you know, just to exhibit at the SHOT Show, but obviously you don't sell anything to the public there. Right. This is the first show we've had that we are actually selling them at, and everybody is absolutely loving them. Canops is just a great everyday carry, pretty smooth, works great, and then Chillin' is a front flipper, and it ha we have a versions in carbon fiber and Damascus. Oh yeah. We have titanium, and then we have some price point aluminum ones too. That and is it's just kind of a sleek gentleman's knife. Everybody really, really loves it. It's just, it's just cool. Absolutely. Now. Um, just for, for example, like this one right here, what's the price point of this one coming the in at? The price point of that one's right around 200 Nice. They that go is... up in the 400 price range if you get it all tricked out with, with Damascus. Damascus. Yeah, of course. Absolutely. These are beautiful. And I tell you what, one of the first knives that I ever saw from you guys was a few years ago when I first started with Smoky Mountain Knife Works. And it was, it was the Saturn and the, and the Radius. Um, These are two of our most popular knives, obviously. This one won overall knife of the year two years ago at the Blade yep. Show, and this one won three years. Yep. We did three in a row Blade Show's best That's overall knife of the year. So, so cool. Now, I got to ask, moving on to Brighton Blades. Yep. So that was your brainchild. Yeah. And um, that's something that's really come on. It's been super popular, at least in our store. Good, good. Um, and it's something that's really cool, of, especially for ladies who like to carry knives. Right. They right. want to express themselves. Yep. They don't have to get, you know, just the olive drab with the black blade that, exactly. you know. So it's expressive. Yeah. So let's talk about what you guys have got going on with Brighton Blades. I've worked in the knife industry for 23 years, so this isn't a new thing for me. But I always wanted to do a knife line just specifically for women. Although we, in our solid colors, we have a lot of guys that like them too, which, which we like, you know. That Absolutely. But one thing with uh, women, a lot of times you don't have pockets that you can carry your knives in. So our knives come in two different ways. Either with a pouch you can carry the knife or you change versions. So you can put them on your keys, or you can put it in your purse, you can put it in your glove compartment, you can put it in your backpack, you can put this on your backpack or your keys. Um, we just wanted to make it so, uh, so that all women could have a knife. Absolutely. Totally available and handy. And we've heard from so many women that have never owned a knife before that said, I can't believe how often I use it. That's I, great. I mean, and that's something I got to say, my wife and I talk about a lot because I always make the joke that women are discriminated against because none of your pants have pockets. They it's don't. not fair. They like don't. they make guys' pants that have pockets that go all the way down to the knees, but she's and I like this deep, and some of them are actually just so shut on the front. Yeah, you know? literally the other day she was getting ready for work, and my wife, I was like. Oh, those pants have pockets. She goes, no, they look like pockets, but they're just fake. They're sewed shut. It's not fair. And so stuff like that is perfect. We have the two different versions. The, these are the solid colored ones. And then we've got the inspirational. Yeah. And this one is like really dear to my heart. This is our home breast cancer one. And we donate money for everyone we sell to breast cancer research. And all of these have a little quote that goes on with them. And on the breast cancer one, it's like, when the world says give up, hope whispers triumph one more time. That's awesome. I love that. That is super cool. Are these going to take you to and that's another thing that I love. So this is a family operation. It is. It's and my three daughters. You guys design the knives, you guys design the packaging. Yes. And that's all inspiring too. Like, you're not outsourcing that to somebody else. This is all coming from you guys. And that I think that gives people more ownership in the product when they go to buy it. We feel really proud. Because like I said, I've done knives for 23 years. But this this is like my heart and soul. This is my baby. I mean, because it was our idea. And like they said, Chris used all the graphics on it. Originally, we were just looking at some stock, you know, patterns and stuff. And right. We were like, no, we want these so all. And she did all of the graphics. And we're That's we're awesome. Really proud of them. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, thank you so much. Thank you guys you. are awesome. Thank you all. And folks, you need to check them out. They're going to be available on smkw.com.
All right, so folks, we've got Nicole here from Bradford Knives, Hello. and thank you so much. First of all, I gotta say, I've already bought a knife from you um, right here, She's and the first uh, one. this thing is really cool, and that's what we're gonna talk about right here. Yes. Really cool new coating. So let's talk about these right here. Okay. Okay, so in our chef, our Aiden chef, and our pairing knife, we have a new PVD coating which is a gas reaction to steel. Um, we're super excited about this because it's going to be the most durable blade finish that we offer. So it's not gonna scratch, it's not gonna show wear. Um, we chose blue and we're so excited. We didn't know that we were going to make it here. Uh, so Brad came running into the shop and he's like, Nicole, you won't believe it. We've got new blades just in time for Texas. So so these are a delight to have. And TC was the first one to pick one up. So again, just a shout out to the culinary line and the weight. It's super lightweight. It's super slicey. So if you're at Smoky Mountain and you haven't handled this knife, that's the that's what you've got to do. That's Absolutely. your next step. So And the coating is super thin too, which is so thin. really cool. And uh, I think that's what's really gonna drive people to that, especially for the kitchen line like this. I gotta say, I'm loving the, the red blade as well. That's that's cool. That's a different coating it's there. It's different, that's but, a coating, so that's yeah. different. And then the traditional stone wash. But we're just playing with new things. We wanna keep things fresh. And um, and for the culinary line, we wanna keep on expanding that customization. Yeah. yeah. And as far as freshness goes, you guys have been doing some really cool big blades in Magnica. You guys been doing a lot of magna cut. We have been doing a lot of magna cut. So magna cut for us started with our EDCs and we we love it. For the EDC realm of use and application, it performed very well. And so we thought, you know what? Magna cut is actually tough enough for these larger, more tactical blades. So Guardian 4, Guardian 4.5, and then our largest um, bunch of Magna Cut, chunk of Magna Cut <laughs> is our 5.5, our survival blade. Um, we're so impressed with this with this steel. Yeah. He treated to about 61, 62, and it is just a performer. So um, when you compare it to 3V, I didn't know how it would compare, but when you when you enter in that semi stainless status. Um, it adds a, a a low maintenance to the blade yeah. that I appreciate. So um, so cheers to Magna Cut. I mean, it's here, and it's not. It doesn't stick around long, but um, <laughs> but we're we're happy to have it, and we're going to continue to see it in our lineup. And um, the next one will be actually culinary. So, oh. So yes, you heard it here. But in the next couple months, we'll have uh, that launching. That's really cool. Nicole, thank you so much. Thank you so much, TC. You guys are awesome. And folks, check out Bradford Knives at smkw.com. All right, so folks, I'm standing here with Jerry from Re8 Knives. Jerry, thank you so much, man. Thank you. You're you. awesome. Now, most of you guys know and love the Re8 XO, and uh, I've got to say, I've got mine in my pocket, too. So okay. I, I love my XO, but we actually, you just came out with the new one, with the lock. Yes, so, the XOM. Yes, and that one is going so wonderfully. We've got them over at our booth now. We just got them in before we came to Blade Show. Okay. But this is what I've been seeing you play with a lot on Instagram. Yes. And this, this thing is, is insane. This is new for uh, 2023. That is insane. Uh, yes. Oh my gosh, so much fun. That is so cool. Oh my God. Yeah. So this is a trainer version, thank goodness, because I would probably end up cutting myself. But uh, when can we expect to see these in stores? Yeah, we need some practice, but it's really cool. Really cool. And if we practice enough, we can use the blade one and it's cooler. <laughs> yes. That is so awesome. So cool, Jerry. Thank you so much, man. Thank you. Awesome. And Thank folks, you very much. If you haven't already, check out Exoskeleton Knives on Instagram. 
you will see some really cool content from Jerry. Yes. Thank you very much. <laughs> Guys, you know. <laughs> you got the one and only Ben Peterson oh, here. Man. Ben, Dude, thank you so much, man. Thanks, man. Always great to see you. And you've got some really cool new stuff now. You kind of hinted at this when we saw you back in Salt Lake yep. back in the fall. Um, but we've got a new Torx bit tool right yep. here Let me... that is super cool. Now, you showed us kind of a, a prototype back then, but now you've actually got it in hand. We've got it done. So what I wanted to do, I've, I've always had like Torx tools kicking around, bit drivers, but I've never had one that I was like, this is the one I love. And this is kind of what I designed. So it comes with a T6, T8, and a flathead. And then all your bits are stored on the outside. So my whole thing is like, I don't want to be looking for my Torx bits when I want to use them. Right. And so we designed it like this and then it's got a bearing cap on the end, but I got to show you this little feature. So we put O-rings on it because we're goofy. Um, but then when you put the bits in. It's magnetic. It's magnetic. So you don't need the O-rings technically, but we had to put the O-rings on because we found out that, hang on, this is taking just a second. Bad demo. <laughs> But you gotta get it weighted right. When you spin it, they spin like crazy. Hang on, hang on. Boom. Seat belts go on and then it spins like That's that. That's insane. And it's kind of a stupid little thing. But, but it's uh, fidgety. Super fidgety and like, it doesn't need the O-rings, but like when you start fidgeting, the centrifugal force sends them across right? the room. And I was like, oh, we better O-ring that. <laughs> but the whole idea, it goes along with this whole concept of being able to work on your own knives, yeah. right? So I want to sell people knives that they can work on. Our warranty goes with that. So we just came out with these kitty scales. Same thing, you just remove the four screws and you can pop them off. So to me, it makes total sense to come out with a Torx tool to be able to work on your stuff. Absolutely, and this fits perfectly in your tool burrito. Correct, yep. And that means I'm gonna have to add that to my tool burrito. Now, you have, I, you have I, a problem. I, I, I do, <laughs> I do have a problem. So uh -huh. when can we see these hitting store shelves like ours? They will be in your store. They're available to dealers now. Yep, so you can get an order in, you can rock and roll, and uh, and then you can fidget all day long. Absolutely. But I, you know, you, you guys are fidgeting it. Like, oh yeah. If somebody, oh, yeah. I'll bet the guys watching this are at their desk flicking well, their knife right now. I think this is a great opportunity because we just started our brand new series, What's Inside, where we're taking apart knives and we're usually putting them back together for our custom shop with like yeah. custom scales, like I my, love it. my PM3 here that Dude, that's uh, hot. I, did the, I did the anodizing on. But we're doing that on video now, taking apart all these knives, showing you what they look like inside. That way you don't have to take them apart at home and Correct. avoid your warranty. Yeah. Or you can take them apart yourself and put whatever scales you want to yes. because you've got an innovator here that wants to oh, I don't force know. it all. Yeah. So and that's, I think that, that's I mean, the goal. Like, cool. that, that's why we have the burrito. That's why we have the torque. So like, I want people to own their stuff. Yeah. Like I, I own a motorcycle and it's like, I can go buy a car burrito build kit. And it's like, that to me, that mentality of being able to not just own your stuff, but maintain your stuff is really important. So, Absolutely. Yeah. Dude, TC, that is so awesome. Thank always you so appreciate much, you, man. man. So. All right, so folks, you know him, you love him. It's the one and only Bryce Gerard. Bryce, you're awesome, man. Oh, thank, thank you. You, for joining you guys us. are awesome. So uh, we've got some really cool stuff from CRKT this year, Yep. including what you've got in your hand. So this is an LCBK designed by Matthew Lurch. Yep. And this, we partnered with Hogue to make. So a really cool partnership, all USA made, got 154 CM on the blade. The construction of the body is all G10, so it's super lightweight. We got our crossbar lock on there, so it's ambidextrous and fidgety. It's really fun. <laughs> and we all love that. We all Absolutely. know we love it. Really great model. We got two of them. We got the LCBK, we got the, the definitive. definitive. This and one's got some speed vents. <laughs> so the cool thing about this, and I don't think a lot of people really know this, but um, we've mentioned it and featured it on our channel that this was designed by a husband and wife team. Yep. Um, so MJ Lurch uh, designed the definitive here. And that's a really cool knife. Like, totally. I gotta say, and nothing against Matthew, but I love the harpoon blade. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I do too. And I. It's a cool look right there. Totally. Really blends in well. The lines really blend together. It's got a really good extreme hollow grind, so the edge gets taken down very fine. And, and especially the way that we ground it towards the tip really keeps that tip thin. Yeah. That's a really slicey, uh, slicey model. So, and even like the, even the, 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 the pins on the crossbar lock are a little bit more proud. They're really easy to get out and find. So yeah. Hogue does a great job. We're really excited about the partnership and we got a lot of other cool stuff coming out. So absolutely it be exciting. Absolutely. Really exciting time at CRKT. It sure. really is. And I mean, you guys just came out with the Bugsy. Now we talked with Kayla uh, yeah. earlier 
about the Bugsy, and that's been a super popular one. Really excited to see that, a collaboration with Tops and with Kayla Cummings from Naked and Afraid. That's totally. super cool. That's and I actually told her, I watched the first episode of this new season of Solo yeah. last night, and I'm like, okay, I'm already hooked. Yeah. Just because of her and this knife and the TV show. And now she's already trying to convince me to audition for the show, and I'm like, I don't know that I have what it takes. <laughs> no pun intended there. So, yeah. <laughs> and now, you guys have got a lot of really cool stuff that's sure. been really popular. The the EDC Provoke has been insanely popular in our store. Totally. We've sold out of it. We've had some people asking for it here at the show. Yeah. Um, so, and we've actually, I just sold a ritual. Yes, the ritual, man. This one's still, you know, like I, I can't. Oh, man. What I love about CRKT is they're willing to take a bit of a risk sometimes. And this one, like, I can't not smile when you open it. It's <laughs> so awesome. And this was one of our first... Uh, knives, it's a flipper with Alan Foltz, who everyone who's familiar with CRKT, the Alan Foltz minimalist is just classic to us. But to go from a minimalist neck knife to a combination of like Persian and Japanese culture and this giant scimitar looking thing, it was just so cool. I, Alan's such a cool guy and Absolutely. very lucky to work with all our designers, but yeah, that was sick. <laughs> Freaking love that thing. So Bryce, cool. you are awesome, my man. Oh. Thank you, brother. Thanks, guys. And uh, have a good blade show. You too. So folks, we got the one and only Ben Belkin here from Jack Wolf Knives. Yes, sir. It's great to see you guys. Thanks for coming. How are you doing today, TC? Doing good, man. Doing good. Just enjoying Blade Show Texas. So what have you guys got going on? Well, we are here at Blade Show Texas in a booth for the first time to show off our line of knives. We've got some for sale, but our main goal here is to educate the community on what we're doing. We've got the Sharpshooter Jack, which is a gun stock. Yeah. We've got it's a the, classic right there. It's a classic. We've got the laid back jack, which is a sway back jack. We've got the midnight jack, which is our first barlow, sheep's foot barlow. We've got the canine jack, which is a dog leg. Has a nice fat spear point on it. We've got the Benny's clip, which is our interpretation of a Lanny's clip. Yeah. A crowd favorite. We've got the vampire jack which has a coffin handle shape and a daggery looking spear point. We've got the cyborg jack. Yes. A unique pattern from yours truly. We've got the venom jack, another crowd favorite. Really nice Warncliffe blade with a sharp edge and an acute tip. We've got the low drag jack, which is a teardrop or a bullet end. Still available at Smoky Mountain. Yes. And our latest release is the Havelina Jack, a sow belly. This one's in Brittany Blue Camo Carbon. Also yes. available at Smoky Mountain Knife Works. So gorgeous and like so classy. I gotta say, like the stuff that you do with classic patterns and modern materials is just amazing. So what was the inspiration behind doing that? Well, I'm a collector of slip joint knives and they have a, there's something special about them. They're timeless, they're handsome, and they're different from a modern knife. I wanted to interpret that in a modern style, but stay true to the roots of the classic knife. So you'll see that the patterns and the shapes are familiar, but the materials are updated and the construction method is modern. Nice. I also want to do a quick shout out to our packaging. Absolutely. You'll find an aluminum tin with unique comic book style art. You're also going to receive a leather carry slip, a microfiber cloth of the highest quality, and a pog for us 90s kids. Yes, absolutely. I keep my jack pog on my desk at all times. I dig it. Because I never know when I'm going to need it. That's right. Absolutely. Ben, thank you so much, man. Thanks, TC. And have a good Blade Show, brother. You too, brother. That is the end of our first day here at Blade Show Texas 2023. Folks, we've had a blast. We've got one more day. Let us know in the comments down below what you want to see more of tomorrow. And if we read it in time, we'll get you what we can.